we study why should women have smear tests regularly? Smear tests are really effective uh, for detecting abnormalities on the cervix and preventing uh, abnormalities progressing to anything more serious. Mm -hmm. So in fact you're trying to see things before they start developing and turn into something potentially more dangerous, more serious. Absolutely, absolutely. It's really important to uh, remember that this is not a cancer test. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what puts a lot of women off going for right. a cervical smear because they're very frightened of what the smear may show. Mm -hmm. um, we know that about 1 in 20 smears will show an abnormal result. Uh, but the majority of these abnormalities are very mild abnormalities which normally resolve on their own uh, without treatment. So if uh, the result of your smear test uh, shows abnormalities, as you say, what happens next? So what happens next is that you will be referred to a gynaecologist mm -hmm. for a procedure called a colposcopy which is very similar to having a smear test done. Um, it involves looking at the cervix uh, in closer detail using a microscope. Uh, we put some uh, uh, fluid on the cervix uh, that can show up any changes on the cervix. Mm -hmm. uh, and with the um, use of the colposcope, uh, we have a look um, uh, at the cervix in great detail. Okay. Sounds painful, is it? So it's exactly the same as having a smear test. We put a right. speculum in into the vagina to have a look at the uh, cervix. The microscope stays outside, um, right. doesn't go um, into the vagina. Mm -hmm. um, the fluid can cause a little bit of stinging, uh, right. but that's momentary. If we see an area um, that looks abnormal on the cervix. We often like to um, confirm that with a biopsy. A cervical smear is a screening test, it's not a diagnostic test. Mm -hmm. um, and a biopsy is a diagnostic test and we often like to confirm what we're seeing on a biopsy. Uh, and so that a biopsy, what is that? What that's, is a biopsy? That's just taking a tiny little nick of tissue from the cervix and sending that to the pathologist to have a look okay. at under the microscope mm -hmm. and they can give us a an accurate diagnosis um, of the abnormality that's on the cervix. So that's the part that really tells you there is something to watch or there is something where you need to intervene? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So the biopsy will either show us that there's a low-grade abnormality um, which we can watch and monitor yeah. uh, and we know that the majority of these will resolve without treatment. If there's a high grade pre-cancer, remember this is not cancer that we're yes. talking about, so if it's a high grade abnormality then offer we will um, offer a small treatment that will remove those abnormal cells. Very occasionally the smear or the colposcopy will show that there is a very early small cancer present. Um, this is why we recommend women to go for regular smears. Um, uh, it's usually the women who don't go for smears um, where we find that there is a cancer present. So how regularly should a woman have uh, a smear test? So I recommend uh, women to go for a regular gynaecological review. Um, I really like the European uh, and the American system of yearly gynecological mm. checkups, um, and a smear test can be uh, part of that. Um, it's not so much the culture in this country, but um, that's something that I'd like to see change. Um, it really helps to pick up problems um, at an early stage before they become a real issue. Um, and it's important to find a gynaecologist that you get on well with, um, who you feel comfortable discussing intimate and personal issues with. Um, so 
I recommend an annual review uh, or really as regularly as um, uh, you feel able to. Mm -hmm. And more often if you have a history of, of an abnormal smear? So if you have an abnormal smear and you have treatment then you would have a smear six months later okay. and then depending on what that shows um, you then uh, return to annual uh, reviews. All right. Miss Adit, thank you very much.